I just need to pop them back on. I'm going to give you some advice on these. They're really kind of really stiff. They're hard to do. So be sure that you bend them on the thing. Put them backwards and then back forward. This one is the inner tray. And while it's tough, the smaller trays are even tougher. <laughs> I know I'm probably not showing that real well, but I'll try to do it better on the little ones. Because you need, she always advises you to push one end in. And the, I think the reason these ones are so tough to put together is because it's so thin. See, it's narrow. It's not real deep because it's meant for the mini inks. So they didn't want them to be too big because they just float all around. So it's really hard to get one end to go in first. And I kind of figured it out on the smaller ones, but boy, the bigger one just does not want to go. Let's just try pulling it back out and bending those flaps both again. get that bottom to go in just a little bit ahead it it really does make a difference but I've also put so many of these together already that just I'm just losing my strength there it went and now this side I'm gonna bend this I was so worried bending that back and forth that I was going to break it and there is a little extra piece there that you really don't need And I think that gets in the way at points too. Maybe that was the problem on the other side. Let's see if I can get it to go. If you can push that bottom in just ahead a little bit. There, it went. That's how it went much easier, as you can see. The trick is just to get that bottom to go in just a little bit. And then the little one, like I said, I kind of folded them. I don't really think it matters which way they go. So I kind of fold them one way. And they are really stiff, which ultimately is probably a good thing, but when you're assembling it, it does not feel that way. So I folded it one way and then back the other. The long sides are especially hard to do that on. One way and I'll back the other. I'm only going to put one of these together on camera. Back and forth. Back and forward. See, see how tiny that is? You can put it in and push that bottom in just a little bit ahead of the top. It goes in much easier than if you try to push it all in at once. Which I knew that, but it's so small that it's really, it, it was hard to get it to go that way. I'm just bending my tabs forward and back each way here. bottom in just a little ahead. You can't do it from that angle either. There. You, you kind of hear it when it goes. And then my other tip would be take this and squeeze it together a little bit. I know it looks then like it's going a little bit in, but in order to get all eight of them in here, you kind of have to do that. They'll, they'll they kind of expand back out a little bit after the fact. I do have one all put together. Let me grab it here. This one I put my, I left a blank one for my, 
because I know there's another green out. And I already had 12 of those because um, there's just a little bit of space left in there after you get six and had enough for another ink pad. Which is kind of nice that they're slightly bigger. And that tray gets there. Because um, it gives you room to get your fingers in there. But that's how they fit. When you fold the flap of this one under, it does kind of hit the Velcro underneath if you don't fold it too far. So it kind of creates a little bit of a, its own crease there. This is two different size ones, so it's a little bit harder to do than it would be if they were the same depth. I think, I think it'll work eventually once I get them all in place. And it is easier to do it when it's in the cube. Rather than, I, I found that out by accident when I was trying to take it out. But, but that's what I'm planning to do is just stack them up like that and have a little drawer. There wasn't a whole lot of space to label on there. That's kind of the plan. I will try to take a picture of that when it's full, which might be a day or two, because I'm not sure how many more I can put together with my hands today. But I just wanted to give a couple tips on assembling those if you buy them. They are a little tight. They're a little tough on hands, especially if you have, like me, I have arthritis in my hands most likely. So even tougher. <laughs> but I just wanted to share that. Hope you that little tip comes in handy. I think I'm really going to like them though. I think I'm going to like having that um, kind of cube of drawers there. I never liked the Ikea option because it only had two drawers and it's like uh, and one thing they're, they're, they're white drawers. I try to avoid doors and such in my craft room because out of sight is out of mind for me. I know some people don't like the clutter or whatever, but um, I find if I can't see it, I don't use it, which is why I'm trying to rearrange a couple of things to get them more accessible, I guess. I'm struggling with where to put my Tim Holtz glass mat. I think I may have it figured out. I just have to get what I need. It's still not going to be right in sight, but it's going to be closer to grab. <coughs> Anyways, that's all I've got to share today. Thanks for joining me. Catch you next time.